If a man and a woman are married but live in two separate countries, how can this woman win the heart of her spouse, seeing that she isn't in the same country as her spouse? We say, before we get into the concept of being in different countries, how do you win the heart of your spouse? Huh? How do you, what? A woman, how do you win the, the heart of your husband? There are many ways of winning, of winning the heart of your husband. From the easiest ways, as you say, a, a best, a quickest way to a man's, huh? His heart is his what? His stomach, huh? Send him some food, inshallah, on the mail. Tayyip, now visit the country, make some food for him. Put some food in the refrigerator. When I'm gone, you think about me. Stuff enough food in the freezer, ration it out, huh? The closest way to a husband's heart is what? Something. There's wisdom in that statement, no doubt about that. And every man wants a woman, huh, that can cook. A true man. Hmm? The man can cook, he can cook, he can chef too, but it's nothing like what? This is peach cobbler, huh, Jeremy, right? <laughs> Have I got this? <laughs> Tell you. So that's first and foremost. So whenever you visit your husband or he visits you, make sure that you put magic on him. Make sure that you put sihr in the kitchen, huh? Cook for him good. Seriously. No doubt. La shak. Linguistic. No doubt. Put a spell on him in the kitchen. Ah, you make for him a good, nice meal that's finger licking good that he'll never forget. He'll go back. He travels overseas. says, subhanAllah. I need some more of that food that my wife made me. Everybody understand? This is very important. Also, with regards to how you present yourself. Whenever your husband sees you or you see your husband, make sure that you look the best. You smell the best. Candles, incense, bath crystals, dim lights, everything. He walks into his home, he should feel like a king. He should feel like a what? Like a king. I'm the, most, the luckiest man in the world. I have the best wife in the dunya. That's how you should make your husband feel, in a permissible manner. And you guys may be laughing and giggling, but this is a what? This is a reality. This is a reality. Everybody understand this? When you're intimate with your husband, anything that he wants from you that's permissible, you should be willing to do. And not just do it just because he asks you. It was a burden, but you should find pleasure in it. And anything that pertains to the marital living between two spouses that is not haram, that doesn't go against kitab, doesn't go against sunnah, you should try your hardest to do it the best until you leave a permanent impression on him. Everybody understand this? And it lies, no doubt, this is a reality. Brothers may say joking, but this is, this is true. And no one but a real woman with good family values is going to understand this. Even when you start talking about polygamy, when he gets a second wife, he thinks about getting a second wife, there's no doubt the husband is going to consider what she cooks like. Because I know my first wife, everybody understands this is a Marvin. Everybody understand this? Everybody got this? This is a reality. This is a what? This is a reality. You're cooking it so good, you don't cook the food just because you have to cook, but you put, they say, I put my foot into it. Huh? And you put your soul into the food. You cook it with love, with passion. You make sure the taste delicious, the soup, everything is perfect. Ever got this? There's no doubt about that. When he goes to get another wife, he's going to do what? He's going to think about that. Am I going to marry this woman and she can't cook as good as my first wife? I understand this? When I come into my house, there's no excuse. I'm tired. The kids are this. I was sick. Her hair is done. Everything is beautiful. Smelling beautiful. Looking beautiful. Feeling beautiful. That is going to have a what? It's going to leave a mark on him that he's not going to forget that. Everybody understand this? So this is very important, and many women, they fall short in this. Many sisters, they fall short in this. And they may make one excuse or another, it should be no excuse. Just like you don't accept an excuse if, some, if, the, if the bills are cut off. What happened? We don't have electricity. It's freezing cold outside, there's no heat. Oh, well, you know, um, subhanAllah. You wouldn't accept that. And the same applies to his rights. Everybody got this? And this is why the cultures in which women take pride in being a housewife, take pride in being a homemaker, they compete in it. And this is also from the wisdoms of polygamy as well. There's some sisters, they may treat their husbands in a mediocre fashion. He gets another wife, she's younger, she doesn't have kids, she's this and she's that. She's going to do what now? Step her game up. Because she, now she has a contender. Somebody that's pulling and tugging for his love, his affection, his time, his money. Everybody understand this? So there's wisdoms in this. Is what? There's wisdoms in this. So whenever you see your husband, make sure that you put a spell on him to the best of your ability. Seek Allah's help. Seek Allah's guidance and try your best to win over your husband physically, spiritually, emotionally, kulshay. As far as when you're away from your husband, talk to him on the phone, Skype, send him, okay, videos, pictures, say hello, a love card. It's nothing wrong with that. Everybody understand this is nothing what? Sharif is nothing what? 
Nothing wrong with a love card. Send your, huh? Send your wife some, send your husband something in the mail. Make sure that you tell your husband that you're always on my mind. Even though we're hundreds of miles away, thousands of miles away, you're always on my mind. I'm always thinking about you. And just because we're not physically together, don't mean we're not together what? Here, this has an effect upon a man. This has an effect upon a man. So that's my advice with regards to that situation. Well, all right,